We created Grand Seiko Europe on the 1st of April 2020. And I joined Grand Seiko on the 1st of February 2020. So almost three years now. Okay, so what was it that attracted you to this brand? Because you have a background at Omega and Longines. And... Um, I've got, when I, I used to work with different brands. And when I come back to France, I opened um, um, the first Omega showroom, Rue de la Paix, which is located yeah. near Blaise Vendôme. And I choose a young guy um, yeah. to, be the, to be the boutique manager. And these guys made a beautiful career within the, you know, the group yeah. and left um, uh, to join Grand Seiko in the US as a president for Grand Seiko Corporation of America for um, six or seven years ago. And he called me and he said, Fred, don't you want uh, to consider to work with us in, the, in Europe? And I said, uh, yes, why not? So I met with um, Akio Naito in charge of the sales for the overseas operation. Yeah. And um, I had the chance to visit um, the Morioka. And uh -huh. when I've seen that it is the quality of the product, yeah. I said, yes, Paul and Spa. The Grand Seiko is such a huge success. It's a huge success. Can you in some way explain why it's such a huge success? Because the, the product content yeah. is so strong. Um, the way the Japanese are manufacturing the products in such a pure way, it's a true quality at the end of the day in finishing, in manufacturing, in, in control, yeah. in the design aspects as well. Everything is made in-house, which is a guarantee of the quality. How many shops of your own do you have at the Grand Seiko name today? Worldwide? Yeah. Um, it's something which is um, around outside Japan. I guess this is something which is between 300 to 300 point of sales outside Japan. Uh -huh. okay. And in Europe, we have uh, so far around uh, 90 point of sales. Okay. You call it eternal values and a unique Japanese sense of beauty. That's the slogan you have in some way. Could, can you explain that a little bit more? There is something which is important in the Japanese culture. It's the fact that they do understand since the scratch that life is ephemeral. So they do enjoy the beauty of nature, that the nature gives birth to a lot of gifts every season and it's a gift which enlightens our life. Nature of time is something which is very important for that because there is always in our dials a tribute to the beauty of nature. It could be, you know, the birches which surrounds um, the Mount Fuji, um, the Mount Iwate switches. Uh, there is always something which reveals in Japan the beauty, the beauty of the nature. And it's actually a true value um, because even though if time passes, you'll always enjoy, uh, whatever your age, beauty of nature. We have just had a pandemic for a few years. How did that affect the Grand Seiko? For me, it was a huge change yeah. because nobody was on the field. I was the only one. So I traveled like, um, um, uh, you know, a crazy guy around Europe just to convey the message. And as my message was very positive, I had the chance to, you know, open the most beautiful point of sales and retailers in Europe. So it was a huge potentiality and huge chance for me. So how many watches do you do here in Nelsico? Um, wow. Several dozen of thousands. <laughs> what is, do you think about the future for Grand Seiko? We have a guarantee of quality. This is actually the craftsmanship of our watchmakers. To be able to create a, a watch by Grand Seiko, you need to train at least 10 years, maybe 15 years for some operations. In that if you want to increase our production, we need sometimes to be able to have the right persons to do it. So the future is brilliant because we have this guarantee of the excellence, which is the right link to the end of our watchmakers. You know, Seiko <coughs> had a special meeting for, for people a long time ago. And, you know, when Work together with Rob for a very long time. Do you think, do you have a feeling of that the younger generation have embraced the Grand Seiko? Yes, I was born in 66. For me, Grand Seiko, Seiko, this is the same perception. Uh, but the new generation, as the brand has been separated now for almost uh, six years, 
they do fully understand that there is Seiko, other brands, um, whatever, Swiss brands, Japanese brands, and Grand Seiko, which is a part. So it's two, we have the same <coughs> history with Seiko, but we don't have the same destiny. We get the Grand Seiko from JQ in Scandinavia. Mm -hmm. Do you think we will have what the brand is store? Um, um, we will have retailers. Uh, yeah, retailers we have. Yeah, I but our own boutique, it's a bit early to say. Uh -huh. <coughs> If we have three or four, you know, own boutiques in Europe, um, it will be enough okay. at that stage.